In this video, I'm going to connect analysis of covariance and partial correlation to underscore further the connection between analysis of variance and multiple regression type techniques as they are both based on the general linear model and principal least squares and so therefore assumptions that are applicable to ANCOVA you would expect to be applicable to partial correlation or multiple regression. So in the ANCOVA you'll recall that sex was associated with a statistically significant effect controlling for body size and the partial eta squared was 0 0.064. Well you can actually get this eta squared 0 0.064 by going to analyze, correlate, and conducting a partial correlation. So put sex in the variables box and brain size in kilograms in the variables box and then include body size factor as the controlling for variable and click OK. And you get a value of 0.253 which has a p-value two-tailed significance of 0.011 which is identical to the p-value here 0.011 and if you square this correlation of 0.253 you will get the partial data squared, 0 0.253 times 0 0.253, 0 0.064. So again, a very strong connection between ANCOVA and partial correlation and multiple regression for that matter, as I showed in the previous video. So it's kind of up to you which analysis you perform. You get different results from each one in terms of exactly the numbers you get, but fundamentally they're all testing exactly the same hypothesis.